Welcome back to Way of the Wrench and on today's very special episode I have a fix for those of you that have a 4K playfield monitor and because it has to be in 100% DPI tech scaling so that it'll work properly in pinup popper uh, when you're in desktop and adding games and doing things in the back end instead of looking at these teeny tiny little icons and taking two three minutes to get your mouse to go across the play field I'm going to show you something to be able to make it way better for you and the other thing is instead of working on the side why don't we get it all done from the front and I'm going to show you something to auto rotate it so when you're in the desktop you can look at it from the front of the cab yet it goes back to normal when you want to play pinball stick around you're not going to want to miss it Right, now I like the look of my desktop this way here on my playfield so I can see what I'm doing and not have to squint at tiny little um, icons that have been scaled to 100%. So this is actually scaled to 250. And there's another thing we could do, we could actually get this to rotate 90 degrees and be portrait mode when we're on desktop so that you guys can actually see from the front of your cabinet instead of sitting from the side like I am. So uh, these are the things that you have to do to be able to get it to auto set the scaling to 100% in pinup popper so everything works properly there. And make sure that it's rotated to the landscape like it's supposed to be. And then when you exit, I want it to be able to take the portrait and rotate it 90 so you can see it from the front and scale it up to like 250%. And I also want it so that if I shut off the cabinet and I turn it on, that will automatically be in our rotated mode and scaled up. So let me show you how to do all that. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go and download two programs. So we're gonna download set DPI. I'll put the link above for you or it's right here. Uh, scroll down, download right here where it says latest version one. Go ahead and download that. Okay, and we want this one right here, set DPI.exe. So go ahead and click on that and download it. Other thing you're gonna to want to download is I rotate, there's the address right here. Download it right here. Now that we've got that downloaded, the very next thing we're going to do, go to where your PC is on your C drive. Go ahead and double left click on that. And in here, in this folder, you're gonna right click and create a new folder. Now you can call it whatever you want, but for me, what I named it is custom scripts. It literally can be whatever you want, just remember what it is. So instead of making a new folder here, I'm going to just get rid of that one. Once you've made your folder, whatever you call it, uh, you can go into here. And then this is where you're going to drag those new programs in from where you downloaded them. So if you go up to your downloads, open up your download window. On both of these, you can right click, copy and then you can paste them, right click paste into your new folder here. Now I've already got them here, so there's my set DPI. And if you double left click on this, it doesn't really do anything, it just flashes the window for a second. Okay, on this I rotate, once it's in here, when you double left click on it, it's an installer, so go through and click next. Uh, the real main thing that you gotta make sure that you do is um, tell it that you want to install it on the C drive and in that custom script folder or whatever you want so it ends up here. Okay, next thing we have to do is we have to make a batch file for iRotate only for when it starts up so that it'll be rotated. So uh, easiest way is go down to here and type in N-O-T-E for notepad and then it'll pop up. Okay, once you've got your notepad set up, you are going to type in this. At symbol echo space off, next line, I capital R O T A T E dot E X E space forward slash and then a number that represents which playfield you want to actually rotate and it does not necessarily line up with the number that is in Windows. So for example my playfield is actually two but um, through trial and error I figured it out that it's three. So number for the monitor you want to rotate and then colon rotate equals 90 and that'll put it in portrait mode for you. Okay once you got this you're going to save this but we can't keep it as a notepad file, so we're gonna go save as, and make sure that where you're gonna save it is in our custom scripts that we just talked about. And we are going to name it whatever you would like to name it. Give it a name that uh, something you're gonna remember. Something like I rotate at startup 90, something like that, okay? And we have to name it .bat so it can turn into a batch file, otherwise it will stay as a text. And we have to change this by clicking on that and going all files, and then click save. OK, 
Okay, now we can close this up. Okay, so there's our batch file, and you can see over here that it's a batch file. If you need to edit it because it doesn't actually rotate the right screen or it's the wrong um, angle of degree for the rotation, uh, you can just right click on this and go edit in notepad and it'll open it up again and you can change the numbers or whatever you need to do. Just make sure you file and save it after. Okay, once you've done that, we need to stick this into our startup folder. So to get there, you're gonna press Windows and R key and you're gonna type this exactly, shell colon startup, press okay. And then you're going to take that batch file, right click copy or right click cut and right click paste it into here. Now I've already got my file in here and so when this PC starts up, it's gonna automatically run this program and turn monitor three, which is my play field, 90 degrees so that I can see it from the front. And you can see I rotates here when I was loading up the program, I clicked on a thing to put it as the start menu. So that's why you see it here as well. Okay, go ahead and close this. Okay, we can close this. Okay, now we're gonna go to pinup. I'm gonna go to popper config. We're gonna go to popper setup, global config. And then we're gonna go to startup. And this is the last little bit to get this going. So I've already written this down and tested this about 10 times on and off and turning popper on and off a bunch. So this works great. So you have to type it out exactly like this. So you're basically specifying where this program is. So C drive colon backslash custom scripts. There's that folder we put them in and then uh, backslash our program, and then space. And this one here is setting the uh, DPI tech scaling. So this is 100%. And this last number here is for the monitor. So once again, this does not match up with my Windows numbers. So I had to play around and figure out that three was my play field. Okay, so this is gonna set it to 100% scaling when pinup popper starts so that it's proper and everything looks okay in popper. And then the other thing it's going to do is the desktops in portrait mode. So we want that back to landscape. So we've added another same line here, except instead of uh, set DPI, we're running the I rotate uh, dot E X E. Don't forget the capital R here, uh, space forward slash. And then once again, this is for the actual monitor that you want to rotate colon rotate equals zero. Zero is landscape mode, what it's supposed to be when it goes up into popper. Okay, and then down here in the closing, once again, write this exactly the same. And um, so same folder, same program, except now when we exit out of popper, I don't want to have a really, really tiny font on my 4K play field. So we're gonna magnify it up to 250% on our play field monitor. And we are also going to use the I rotate to take the play field monitor and rotate 90 degrees so that we don't have to look from the side of the cabinet. We can look at everything from the front. Okay, once you've done this, you can go ahead and save this and then go ahead and hit exit and launch and we're gonna test this out. All right, I saw it shrink up there and this looks, everything's how it's supposed to look. Awesome. Okay, and then when we exit, bam, it's rotated to our portrait look and we've got our 250 scale so we can see what we're doing on the screen and I don't have to be at the side looking this way. I can literally look at the front and everything's all in line so this will be a lot easier for me to do um, back end work and download tables and things like that. Okay, and then the very first time I shut this down to test everything out and put it back on, it actually went back landscape. So I wanted to make sure that it would still stay in portrait every time you're in the desktop. So that's what that batch file does with iRotate that we put in our startup folder. All right, that's a wrap at another video from Way of the Wrench, this time on how to auto scale and rotate your Playfield monitor so that it will work with Pinup Popper and yet be comfortable to use from the front of the cab when you are on the desktop. If you have any questions about what we did, put it down in the comment section below and I will help you out as much as possible. What's next? Uh, I think the very next thing is we gotta ditch that keyboard and get some buttons in here and start installing some Arno's boards so that we can actually play some pinball. Uh, that'll be pretty sick. So look forward to that video. And if you haven't already, why don't you join us on Instagram so you can check out all the cool stuff going on in the shop in between videos. Until next time, take it easy.